All right, this is a short overview of how the subscriptions work, as you can see on the new Eden. I know this says monthly, but I have switched it for to daily in order for these tests to work so that we can see them quicker. But you'll notice that the button now says sign up now. And I have tested this. It does work when they order a variety of different products, including this one. So where is this information? So the first place we're going to go is we're going to come over to WooCommerce. We're going to come over to products and we're going to look at we're going to look at the products and we're going to see how that subscription model is built. So we're going to come down here to the new Eden uh, monthly subscription, which in this case we have set to daily. And we're going to take a look a little further down and we're going to look at the different product types. So this was originally a simple product and I have switched it over to a simple subscription product. And when it did that, it gave me a variety of other um, information here to uh, set up. So I can set up how much it's going to cost, what is the, um, how often is it going to run, when does it expire, um, if there's an additional sign-up fee, um, if there's a free trial, trial, you can do number of days and so on, and then the sale price, which matches what we had before, so $125. You do a subscription, you get it for $100. And then you hit update. So that takes care of how to set up or change the information in the actual subscription itself. So now that we have the product done and we have a subscription uh, model based for that product, all we have to do is sell it. So what happens when it gets sold? Well, it's going to come over here. We're going to take a look at this section here called subscriptions. So when a subscription product is sold, it's not set up as a subscription inside of Stripe. It is actually set up as a subscription inside of WooCommerce. And we'll take a look at this one here that says active. So I have it set up to run daily so that we can do these tests. And you can see it, its start date was 49 minutes ago. It ran once. Uh, its next payment right here is in uh, 23 hours. So you have full control over what's going on with the subscription. You can even edit this somewhat. So once it loads here, I can go and I can, I can add a trial end date. As you can see here, I can change the payment structure. I can change the trial date, all that kind of stuff. I can change everything about the subscription right in here. So if somebody needs um, to make a modify, maybe they want to move it from the first of the month to the middle of the month, everything can be done right inside the subscription. So that's how the subscription gets into the system when somebody buys a product from the front end. But if you have uh, taken a phone order or or you want to move over your authorized.net, you can come over here and you can hit add subscriptions. But I know we're just going to pull this up, but I'm going to let you know that you need to create the customer first. So if you'll see here, it's going to want to drop down for the customer. So what you need to do in order to create a customer is you need to come over to users and you go to add new. So we're just going to go ahead and add the new customer automatically. And I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to speed it up a little bit though. So now I have added Joe in here as a customer. This role is important. I need to go back in to where Joe is and I need to modify his account so that I can set up a shipping address. So now that it's been added, I can come down here and I can go to the bottom and now I can plug in the shipping information that I need to. So we'll do that real quick. So that's the billing. Now we'll hit copy for the shipping and all the information is in. We'll hit update user. Right now I have to set up the customer inside of Stripe. So I'm going to click on customers. I'm going to click add a new customer. I'm going to put in the information. We don't need the rest. Okay. So everything that we have here is ready to go. We got the basics in, so we're going to hit add customer. Now Joe Dirt's in here. We're going to click on Joe Dirt. Now we're going to come over here to payment methods. We're going to hit add. We're going to say add a card. And we're going to plug in the credit card. And you can, when you're using the test credit card like we are today, uh, you can use any date um, and any CV. But you, when you plug in the credit card information for your customer, you'll want to use the real information. I like plugging in the information here because if if it looks a little iffy for Stripe, they'll look at this information. So I like putting in some of the basic stuff in here. The address inside the credit card information is typically more important than the address in the customer account. 
if you just put in the customer's information as uh, uh, their name and their email address, that's pretty much all you need over there. It's more important to have it over here. So if you don't want to do all of it, you don't have to. All right, so a credit card method has been entered. Now we have the billing information inside of Stripe that the subscription can use. So now that I have the customer information entered into the system, I can go back to WooCommerce. I can click on subscriptions and I can click on add new. And now I can add this customer to a new subscription. So I'm going to come over here to add subscription. I'm going to find Joe in the list. Everything should be pre-filled out right here. Everything looks good. I don't need to make any changes. The subscription status, I'm going to go ahead and set to active. Come down here. I'm going to add an item, add products. Look for the new Eden monthly. Quantity is one. Hit add. Now I'm going to come back up here to the payment method and I'm going to say credit card. And this is where I'm going to plug in um, the information for the customer. So this is going to be the customer ID. Now we need to add the Stripe source ID. This is going to be the ID for the credit card. Uh, and this is critical too when there are multiple credit cards assigned to a customer. So we'll go back to Stripe. Here's the payment method that we just entered. If you click on this triangle, you'll see all the information regarding it. And then here's the ID of this credit card. So we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it into here. Now we're going to go ahead and choose an action and we're going to create pending parent order. If you want to change the schedule, all the scheduling information is right here and you can do that um, just by changing what information is here. So let's go ahead. Now that we've done it, let's go ahead and hit create. All right. So that subscription has been created and everything should be good to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let this run and make sure that it actually runs for tomorrow. So let's jump over here to subscriptions. Okay, it looks like it put it on hold. So we're going to come over here and hit reactivate. Okay, now that's an active subscription. And let's check our stats. That so was created 14 minutes ago. Um, it runs in the next 24 hours. The last order date was an hour or a minute ago. So this should run tomorrow at um, 1 36 ish uh, and we're going to check that tomorrow to make sure it does hopefully we got everything correct this was the first time i did it so um, we're going to watch and modify this if i need to modify the video a little bit i will